Scott. Let's stay on it with former, uh, with House Homeland Security uh, uh, Congressman, he's uh, Texas Congressman Tony Gonzalez. Congressman Gonzalez, your reaction to that great reporting, what do you think? Yeah, no, I think uh, anyone that touches this border crisis has the same opinion. And this isn't a Democrat or Republican issue. All Americans should be furious. I I've seen it. Uh, you know, my district, I represent two thirds of the Texas Mexico border. The only way this stops is when you enforce the law. If you remember the Haitians under the bridge in Del Rio in my district about a year and a half ago, the only reason that stopped is they started, uh, Border Patrol started sending migrants back to their country of origin. So you have to enforce the laws. What about the the, the, the number of uh, folks on the terrorist watch list that are coming over. What is it going to take to make this nightmare go away? Yeah, we're just a, you know, a generation away from 9-11. We're coming up on that anniversary. Now you have this story. Let's show the viewer the data points that are coming in about what's going on with Biden's border crisis. The FBI has been hunting down the human smuggler with ties to ISIS. He smuggled across the border a dozen illegal immigrants from Uzbekistan. It's not clear whether they were all caught. The breach was so alarming that top Biden cabinet officials got an urgent classified intelligence report on it in their morning briefing book. Look at the criminals arrested, criminal legal immigrants. Look at the known terrorists caught. We're talking, it's growing and growing and growing, but this Biden White House blame, continues to blame Trump for the border crisis. They are the ones who ignited it by dismantling Trump's policies. You're exactly right, Liz. And this is the story we need to be talking about. I spent 20 years in the military. I spent five years in Iraq and Afghanistan. This threat is real. There are people around the world that hate us. They don't hate us because we're Democrats or Republicans. They hate us because we're Americans. And this is the, the biggest failure of the Biden administration. Why the House needs to hold him accountable by starting an impeachment inquiry. We got to start down this route and figure out what's happening. I just got brief from the DEA. They, they told me about a case where there was a drug cartel that, that uh, wanted to trade hundreds of pounds of fentanyl in exchange for weapons. I mean, these things are very real. It's not a game. It's not a, a, a just a, a what if. It's, it's an, only a matter of time before something terrible happens. Terrible. Congressman Gonzalez. Thank you so much for coming on the show tonight. It's good to see you.